Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here for my very last unboxing of February. My bookship box just got here, so I'm very excited to unbox it and show you all of its lovely contents. Um, February's theme was Pick Your Poison, which means I think I know what book is gonna be in here. But I did wanna let you guys know, if you guys want to get bookship, you need to get on ordering because I'm pretty sure their March box is already sold out. Like I'm pretty sure their boxes are selling out for the following month before the previous month has even gotten to me. Like I just got this yesterday and March is already sold out and has been sold out. So I believe they are announcing their April theme coming soon. So if you want to get on board for that, go ahead and sign up. You can use my code CHELSEA10 to save and get yourself on their list because I think it's worth it. Okay, that being said, let's get into this. I'm very excited. I feel like it's been a while since I've given like a spiel on what Bookship is. Bookship is the first company that I ever started working with and I adore Tiffany and Mary Beth like so much and I appreciate everything they've done for me and my channel. Um, but this is a box that was like the first box that ever like spoke to me. It called out my name because this is a um, YA book box that is designed for essentially adults. So it's for us mature folk who still like to read YA. So they give you more adult content in it and less like fandom-y, merchy type things that are very kind of like teenager oriented, um, which I appreciate. That is pretty much what drew me to them. And they're starting to do regular things that they're including in each month. Like they're starting to do regular wax melts. And all this year they're doing a regular... Um, pages that go into the planner that they sent out. So I like the direction they're heading. So this is what, ooh, what is this? What is this? Okay, this is what you see when you open the box. So you get a playlist, like a Spotify playlist to accompany your box experience. And on the back is all of the like spoilery stuff. So like I said, this is pick your poison. That is the theme. Let's take this down and get into it. Okay, so this, what is this? What is this? I see a pocket on it. Oh my god, is this an apron? No, this is too cute. Oh my god, this is too cute. It says, we're all stories in the end. Oh my god, and this is a huge... So that's on the chest. This is a huge blue apron. Hold on, I have to model this really fast. Okay, I had to move way, way back, but how stinking cute is this? Also, I am flashing back to high school, college days with an apron on. In case you guys didn't know, I was a Starbucks barista for all of high school and college. So this is bringing back some memories, just saying, like tying an apron on myself. Um, but first of all, one, I love this. It has adjustable snaps. I am of course a tiny human being, so I have it on the highest one. But look how cute this is. It has like a big pocket right here and has a little pocket right. This is, mm, book shit, you guys. I like this. I didn't know that I needed an apron in my life, but now I do. But look how cute this is, and it just ties in the back. Oh, this is precious. Okay, moving on. Alrighty, are we back in frame? Okay, that's super fun. Also, I like that that fits the whole, like, pick your poison, like, chef in the kitchen. Okay, I'm really feeling that, but in case you guys were curious, this is what the rest of the box looks like. We have a lot of stuff in here, and I'm very excited to get into it. So the first thing I want to get into is what I was talking about earlier. They started doing um, Beyond Bookship, Scenting the Mood, which I think is like the best tagline ever for like a scented, smelly item. Okay, smelly has negative connotations, just a lovely scented item. Um, so these are their wax melts, which come in little heart cubes, which is not cubes, words. Why am I so bad at words today? Little heart melts. You pop these out, you pop them in the wax melter that they sent in the January box, and it's great. So this is Deadly Confections. It's a tea and cake scent inspired by the book The Antidote by Shelley Sakier. You know, I almost bought that book. If you guys haven't seen that book cover, it's stunning. Ooh, this one's good. Okay, so tea and cake scent. So cake automatically made me think it was gonna be like a super sweet scent, which, you know, I'm down with. If it smells like something I can stuff in my mouth, I'm gonna like it, but I like the tea scent on top of this. I know you guys are just sitting here waiting for like awful scent descriptions because that's what I bring to the table when it comes to describing candles or wax belts or anything with a scent, but this one is legitimately very good. It's a very sweet, but it definitely smells, it almost smells like an iced tea scent mixed with it, which I am a huge fan of, big fan of this. Thank you, Bookship, because wax melts are like a newfound love of mine because I feel like they last longer than candles. I'm just talking while I'm failing at setting this up. Okay, it's just gonna sit there. But 
I really like wax melts and I have found that like they last longer than candles do. Like you don't really burn through them like you do with candles. They just kind of hang out for as long as you want. Like I think the scent goes away after a really long time, but like you get more free money with wax melts in my opinion. Okay, so the next thing is in this lovely bottle. It is goat's milk hand body lotion. Can we say this is perfect for me? That is my dream in the future is to uh, breed baby goats and do goat's milk stuff like lotion, cheeses, soaps, things of that nature. I'm a big fan of all things goat. In case you are new here, I have goats. So this is from the company Book Puri, like Book Puri, but Book. So that's really cute. And this is poisoned apple scented. So it's red delicious apples, cherry tree, mandarin flowers, wild ivy, and musk. Ooh, that sounds amazing. I feel like I should do the smart thing. Okay, yeah, there's not a seal. Have you ever been in the store and you try and smell a shampoo or a lotion or something and you sit there forever and you're like, it has no scent. And then you realize that you were dumb and it just had like a safety seal. Ooh, that smells nice. Ooh, okay, I actually want to put this on my hands because it's the middle of winter. My hands are dry. I go into the barn a lot with my goats and it's cold out there. Ooh, this is like a slippery lotion. It's very smooth and silky. Ooh, I like the scent. It's a really light scent. Here I go with the scent descriptions. It's a very light, um, I don't even really smell apple, to be honest. It smells kind of like a mandarin flower cherry blossom scent. Ooh, and it's soaking in that lovely. I am a huge fan of this. Okay, so far we are three for three on the items in this box. Okay, the next thing looks like it's a whole bunch of, I think these are bookmarks, but they all came off of the sheets. So let me, let me act like I know what I'm doing and put these all back on real quick. Okay, there we go. I got it situated. So the next thing is this just like strip of paper clips. So it's actually just a paper clip on the back, but they're little to go coffee cups. And I believe, unless there's something else, I believe this is the item that they include to go with your planner. So like I said, they sent out a planner in January and they are trying to include items in every single box. Um, that you can use with the planners. So whether that's washi tape or like stickers or pages that you can add. So I believe this is going to be the February item that they included to go with your planner. And this is honestly precious. Look at the little coffee cups. You could also use these as bookmarks. They might be a little chunky for your book. They're a little thick, but these are so cute. Oh my God. Okay, let's see. The next thing looks like it is in this lovely bag. This looks like candy. I just saw a little window on the back. And it looks like there is candy in here. They are speaking right to my soul right now with this box, let me tell you. Mm. So I think, are these little taffies? Oh my gosh, this is like a little bag of taffy. Oh, I'm so eating this, like as soon as this video is over. You guys don't even know. You act like I didn't eat these five minutes after I turned the camera off, just act like it. So that's precious. Thank you for giving me food. This box is so far, it's winning in my mind. I've come to learn that I actually really appreciate um, consumables or usable items in boxes because as you guys know, if you're on my channel, you're aware that I do a lot of unboxings, which means I have a lot of stuff. Like a lot of things come in every single box. And I am starting to really appreciate getting like candles or food or like lotions, things that I can actually use and use up so that it's not just a lot of stuff accumulating in my library. It's things that I actually use. So I'm appreciating this. And that brings me to the next item that is in this box. This is coffee. I can already smell it. It smells really good. So this is Beyond Bookship. It's a one year anniversary blend. Oh my God, I forgot that it's your anniversary box. Bookship, happy anniversary. They started in February of last year. That's so precious. So this is a vanilla, caramel, and Kahlua flavored coffee. Like I said, this is an adult box, so we can appreciate a good Kahlua coffee up in here. Uh, this is amazing. So this is from bocajava.com. So that's like the company is Boca Java. And guys, oh my God, I can smell this through the box. This smells amazing. Um, fun fact, I gave up coffee last year because of a lot of different reasons. And I have kind of recently started drinking coffee again this year. And guys, I missed it so much. I have so much coffee in my house again, and it's glorious. I am an energetic, productive being in society again. And it's pretty great. Is it an addiction? Yes. Am I okay with it? 
kind of. Yeah, yeah, I am. So that's amazing. So that, okay, we haven't even gotten to like the bottom of the box yet. This is the next item. This is, what is this, a necklace? This is very cute. It's like a gemstony, stony thing of a jinger. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this, is this a bookmark? What is this? Hang on. It's a very short thing. I thought it was going to be a necklace. Oh, okay. I'm looking at the cheater card. This is a pendulum that can be used to help you meditate in divination or for chakra balance. That's awesome. If you guys want me to talk about things other than books on my channel, I'd be happy to get into it. But I have recently gotten into yoga big time. And just in general, the lifestyle that comes surrounding like yoga practice, meditation, all of the things that are good for the soul. This is honestly kind of cool. Also, I kind of want to hang this on my shelf somewhere because I feel like it's pretty. It's just this like opaque pearlescent looking stone. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it like with all the lights and everything, but it has kind of like a pearly opaly sheen to it. This is honestly, mm, this is kind of cool. This is unique. I've never seen this in a box before. Awesome. Big fan. Okay. We haven't even gotten to the book yet. I honestly forgot there was a book in this box because I'm a fan of all of this. So we are down to the book that comes in this adorable bookish wrap thingamajinger. So let's get into this. Here is the book. Oh, okay. Th duh. Hence the wax belts being inspired by this book. It's The Antidote by Shelley Sackier, like I mentioned earlier. But like I said, is this not the most stunning cover ever? You know, I thought this was going to be a different book. You guys totally fooled me, bookship, just saying. Um, mm, look at this cover. This, you guys know, this is totally my type of cover. Like, my favorite covers are, like, Wink Poppy Midnight, Wicked Like Wildfire, any of those, like, kind of abstract floral designs. I'm a huge fan of it. Look at the spine. Look at the back of it. This book is, oh, it has deckled edges. I like deckled edges. I know a lot of people don't. I'm a big fan. Oh my God, look how much stuff is in here. Okay, hold on. Let me get to everything. I want to see what it looks like naked. I'm guessing blue. Whoa, shocker. It's like a peachy, fleshy tone. Oh, look at that spine. That's, mm. This book is beautiful naked as well. Okay, so we have the book. We also have a signed book plate in there, but not only is it like just a signature, she actually like wrote on here, which is always really cool. We have our regular card that goes with our planner, which is designed by my friend Megan. I will leave her linked down below. The artist of these is my friend Megan, who is amazing. She has a whole like YA tarot set coming out. I will leave everything linked down below. She's awesome. But look how stunning this card is. It's Hermione. She's looking sassy and fierce. Okay, put that there. We have the book plate that goes with the book. We have the page of releases that goes in the um, planner. So they do this every month. They include a new page that fits in the planner that they sent out. So they have a page on the back of it that basically you write down like the books that you read and the rating. And then on the back, they give all of the releases that are coming out in March. So that's amazing. And then, ooh, the author letter is on this lovely like, ooh, look at that. Mm, look at that. Okay, I just realized I didn't even tell you guys what this book is about. I just told you like how beautiful it is. This sounds amazing. This is a fantasy that is set in a world where there's a whole bunch of healers who do like kind of potions and herbal remedies, um, but magic is not allowed. Who saw that coming? That's pretty much a trope that is standard in YA fantasy and I am still okay with it. I still like the forbidden magic trope. Um, so we are following Fee, that is our protagonist, and she is an apprentice of the healers and she's been learning this, but she needs to keep her magic secret. Go figure, that happens. Um, but her friend becomes very, very sick and all of these herbal remedies and whatnot um, are not healing him. So she kind of takes it upon herself to use a little bit of her magic, heal him up, but it comes at a cost. So it basically attracts all of the people who want to snuff out magic in the world. So she tosses herself into the midst of that by healing her friend. This sounds amazing. Ooh, the little tagline is, is it a cure or a curse? I like that. That's fun. So not only is this book stunning, I have a feeling it's going to be amazing. I don't have any books that look like this. This book is gorgeous. Uh, big fan of this box. Honestly, really like that they kind of kept everything in the like potion world. Like we have poisoned apple lotion, we have a pendulum, we have an apron, coffee. I like that it's consumable things because I'm going to go eat some taffy now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, everything will be linked down below. Make sure you get yourselves on the list to start receiving their boxes because like I said, they are selling out really, really fast. So 
that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video.